Hello everyone, I'm Marshall Fromowski. I will briefly present my work about TV factorization and use of approximate computing into Gaussian filters. Nowadays, the Internet of Things and mobile devices are widely adopted, and power is a significant concern. Many of those devices capture and process multimedia content. The multimedia applications are error tolerant and suitable for approximate computing which consists of relaxing the precision of calculations to reduce power and area. Many multimedia applications use filters as a preprocessing step. One example is the Gaussian filter, which is a computing intense task used in multimedia applications to blur and reduce image noise. Applying approximate computing to this filter optimizes the resources. The main goal of this work is to investigate different scenarios using approximate computing in a Gaussian filter. To achieve it, we refactorize the baseline architecture to optimize resource usage. We also explored uh, different strategies applying approximate computing to improve even more the filter architectures. The baseline um, architecture was proposed by Borges at all, and they used the bit quantization technique we refactorized V1 using the MCM to obtain the V2 architecture. The logical refactoring changed the other tree, reducing the hardware resource used while keeping the correct function results. To evaluate the use of approximate adders, we divided both architectures into five different levels. In each level, we used the approximate and exact adders totalizing 32 different combinations to each architecture. The main differences to Borges' work are the logical optimization and the approximate technique employed. We approximate the full others using the COPE strategy. This technique direct connect input A to output S and input D to carry out. In our approach, we removed the carry propagation because it's not used. We approximated different numbers of lower significant bits on the adders to, determ to determine the best trade-off between the number of bits approximated and output results. Both architectures were evaluated in terms of PSNR using images from the BSD dataset. The results show that all combinations with level 5 approximated achieved the lower PSNR values while the remaining combinations achieve more than twice this result. We evaluated all combinations without level 5 approximated and two corner cases in term of, terms of power and area using two frequencies. Comparing the PSNR results of V1 and V2 approximate versions, we noticed that V2 reduced the PSNR to most cases evaluated due to the combination of refactoring and approximation. V2 kept the same result as V1 while reducing area because of the decrease in the number of adders. Um, the combination of refactoring and approximate decrease area even more due to the reduction in terms of gates used to implement each approximate adder. The refactorization alone reduced power significantly due to the decrease in the number of adders used in V2. When approximation is applied, the power consumption reduces even more because some gates are removed from others. Take into consideration only power or area to select the best case can lead to, to quality loss. So we we'll built the Pareto frontier to both frequencies and find that V2 has a better trade-off between power and PSNR in most cases when compared to V1. It also shows that V2 is the most suitable option targeting power optim optimization. Compared to the related work, our approach has a better trade-off between power and quality, while work 7 and 13 are more power efficient but achieve lower image quality. So in this work, we refactor refactored the Gaussian filter to reduce power and area. We also applied co approximate computing to achieve a better trade-off between power and quality. Some of our next steps are pruning the filter's weights, vary the number of bits approximating adders, and apply the filters on the cane edge border detector. So thank you very much for your attention.